Hi guys, welcome back to Griffin to Gaming Guides. Today we're going after another Need for Speed Heat Trophy, all for one, where you need to reach maximum crew level with your crew. As a crew, you work as a team of up to 32 players, all earning rep. Each member adds to the total whenever you end night activities in Palm City, get back to your garage and actually bank your rep. Now, your crew will have to rank up millions on rep, and it takes a total of 6.2 mil just to go from level 49 to level 50. So you've got some serious grinding to do. If you're getting a dedicated crew for this one, there's plenty of forums out there that are looking for crew members. But please be aware, the majority of these crews are run by, say, a crew leader. And if you're not contributing towards the crew, chances are you're going to get kicked. Obviously, if it's a team of you guys that are, say, I don't know, from Reddit or from PlayStation Profiles or from true achievements or from any sort of website like that and you're all dedicated you all know each other you're all in the same crew chances are you probably won't get kicked but if you're in a random crew ch trying to obviously boost up the rep and you don't contribute chances are you'll be out just something to bear in mind now once you do reach crew level 50 it will tell you on screen automatically now for me at the minute i'm driving through in a porsche quite badly i will admit i've just gone through a caravan It'll be about two or three minutes time, it'll tell you on screen that I've earned the trophy. And also, I'm working with a friend of mine, he's going to... I've also got the footage of him jumping in, he had his PS4 on rest mode. Obviously, the crew that we were both in, he earned the trophy as well, but he earned it from being offline. So as soon as you sign in, you'll also be able to earn your trophy achievement as well. It's not a case of if you're not online when your crew hits level 50, it's tough. You will get it, providing you're still in that crew. And one of the biggest benefits of being able to reach crew level 50 is to be able to unlock the Ferrari FXXK Evolution for purchase. And that car, quite simply, one of the fastest and best cars in the game. You do need to have the ability to be online for this trophy or achievement as well, as it's a crew challenge. You can technically get it done yourself offline, but the amount of time it'll take, you'll still be here next year trying to get it done. It's a ridiculous amount of rep you need to earn to, in order to be able to get your crew up to level 50. But obviously, it is possible. It's also possible to jump into a level 50 crew just by searching through the crews that are available. If they've got any places, you can send a request to join any amount of crews that you want. Now... I strongly recommend you give it a go because if you get accepted into a crew that's already level 50, if they've got space for you, automatic trophy achievement unlocks as soon as they let you in. You don't have to contribute at all. Providing you're in a level 50 crew, however it works, that's it. Trophy achievement will unlock. As you can see here, driving for a race, trying to get after Anna, we've just literally unlocked the first one of these all for one trophies. Now, my mate, like I say, he's just literally come online in the video, obviously. We've um, just connected up to the servers. As soon as we connect up, he earns his trophy and achievement as well. So then, guys, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. If you've got any questions or need any further information about All For One, let me know down in the comments and I'll get to you as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to Griffin's Gaming Guides. After you subscribe, please hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future content. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.